In this kayak fishing trip, I'm using a kayak cart which allows you to roll your kayak on wheels when you have to move it over long distances. It's easy to assemble outside of the box. There is a light metal frame which is foldable. This unit was made by Auto Body Now. To attach the wheels, you put them on the axle and then just hold them in place with these two pins. The frame also has a kickstand that allows you to put in place while you're loading up your kayak. And then there's one strap to attach it to the kayak body. I tested it in my backyard, did a few circles and a few turns. It seemed pretty stable, especially on flat ground or flat grass. Once I parked my car, it was very easy to um, set up the kayak cart, then load the kayak on top of that and put all my fishing gear into my kayak. I then uh, started rolling the kayak over towards the ocean. I'm glad I used this on this trip because it was a warm summer day in the afternoon. I could not find any parking next to the ocean. So I had to haul the kayak about a block to the ocean. Not a bad distance. You know, my kayak is about 55 pounds. Perhaps I could have done it. It would have been a strain though. And then I would have had to make two trips back for my kayak fishing gear. So um, a, a kayak cart is a big benefit for situations like this. Uh, or if it's low tide and you have to roll your kayak a long distance along the sand. Uh, it's a big help, especially if your kayak is very heavy. So in this clip, you can see how stable it was, even weaving um, in between houses and traffic. Now the instructions say that the kayak wheels can get loose when you roll them over rocks or over steps. I tested them on these steps and indeed they came loose, so don't try this at home. For the kayak fishing trip, I had my sabiki rig on one rod and on the other rod I had a uh, weight with a bucktail aiming for striped bass in case they were deep because it was a hot day today. Uh, no luck with the bucktail but I caught some mackerel and decided to troll them on the north side of Cronin Shield Island. It was very windy though and I went to the south shore of uh, Cronin Shield Island where it was protected. There I tried a flounder rig with an artificial worm. Uh, no luck there either. Here's the mackerel I was using as bait. I stored away the wheels uh, behind a rock at the shore, uh, but I think you can actually easily pack it away behind your crate or even stow away your wheels. So it was very easy for me to pull my kayak back to the, back to the car and disassemble everything and pack away everything there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, or subscribe. I've got other kayak fishing videos on my channel. Thanks.